Jesus. I exactly. Need I, I need help. So, guys, we're about to get into why is that trending. So, uh, first off, on this one, I wanted to uh, just list off some of the things that's been trending lately. There were so many things going on, I couldn't uh, put them all in. So, I decided to just pack them all into this lunchbox right now. So, notes of, of, what's of, of, of why is that trending? Exactly. Like, opening first. So, Viola Davis from Vanity Fair cover shot by a black photographer for the first time. I thought that was an interesting thing because why hasn't that happened before? Also, Vogue slammed for hiring Anna, is it Leibovitz? If I'm saying the right, uh, yeah. For Simone Biles cover instead of a black photographer. So it was two topics right there off the top that where a black photographer was requested and needed, I guess, and was trending on Twitter. Also trending was Hollywood mourns the death of actor uh, Naya R uh, Rivera. And also Leah Mitchell's honored her and Corey, or was it Corey Monte? I can never say the name correctly on Instagram. Answering the question of would she say anything at all? But we'll get into that a little bit later. Vivica Fox was also trending for some reason because she wanted Zendaya to play her daughter. If you were a fan of the Kill Bill volume one movie you would know that she had a daughter in that role and she wants zendaya to play the older version in another installment of that let's well we'll see if that happens but it probably won't then Ludacris hints that the fast and furious nine movie will be going to outer space which yeah. answers a lot of questions and raises a ton more bill nye the size guy explains why it's important to wear a mask damn it and of course why is any of those trendy? things, those, any of those topics, has just catch I, your attention more than I others? I just really love, I feel like it's been, uh, it's been a heavy time <laughs> and, a, and a heavy week, obviously, uh, you know, the loss of Naya Rivera, I think was big in the news right now and obviously incredibly fucking tragic. Mm. Um, you know, still with COVID, with, uh, you know, things going on in the social sphere. The one that really jumped out to me on the complete opposite end of the spectrum was just Fast and Furious 9. We're going to space. Oh, yeah. And I really just feel like it's what we need right now. <laughs> it's not the Fast and the Furious movie we, we deserve, yeah. but it's the Fast and the Furious movie we need. Yeah. Shoot, just... shoot, those, shoot those crazy cars into space. Those that that was a rumor that was going on for a long time. I, Fast and Furious have done everything except uh, go into space or time travel and stuff. So watch by by Fast and Furious 10. Watch. They're going to go 88 miles per hour <laughs> and go back in time. So I believe it. Those this that was shared by Ludacris that uh, he hinted that that there is somebody maybe something going to get put into orbit or maybe maybe a satellite gets shot up there and they blow it up or something like that who knows i doubt yeah. i really doubt they're going to go into outer space and if they do hey chris it's been a bitch of a year can you not take this from me yuck my freaking yuck i want all of them in space i want the cars like modded out like flying through space i want it no. i need it no I don't even really, I, I, I'm not even a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise, but I just feel like. It's something that just needs to take your mind off of everything just, it else. It feels emotionally healing. <laughs> oh. Just dumb enough to, to take everybody's to you, mind off of everything. To give you amnesia, exactly. Oh, wow. yeah, well, if you like it, I love it. I I thought that the, the most, uh, the telling, the most, interesting thing on this was that um you messaged me earlier and you were like you called it about so this isn't a part of the we got your mail thing but it was it's kind of close so i got a little heat from some hardcore leah uh mitchell fans about the um the post that we did all right that i did the poll for should she say something regarding uh naya's disappearance and just the question of should she do it yes no or doesn't matter was enough to trigger so many people that this was disrespectful this, the reason why i if, if i didn't make this clear earlier the reason why is because i felt or predicted however you want i, I predicted that no matter what happens especially if she if she uh turned up dead or alive for uh, naya 
I felt like hardcore fans uh, were going to just start piling on to uh, to Leah, especially after what just recently happened uh, on, with her on social media. So I, I felt like, would it be a good idea for her to say something? Would it not be a good idea to say something to kind of smooth it over? Now, ult now she ultimately decided to do something on Instagram, but on Twitter, I think you pointed out that that it was deleted. Her account was deleted, correct? Yeah, Leah Michelle. I. I can't remember if she said something on Twitter or not, but I did see that the backlash and, you know, it is such a damned if you do damned if you don't situation because publicly Leah Michelle and, and Naya Rivera did not get along particularly right. well, but also that is someone you worked with. So it is sort of this weird, it's going to look potentially insincere if you do say something, it's going to look, like you know. If you don't say anything. And so yeah. we said it right here on the show. I think this was last week that, it, if she was compelled to say anything, it would probably be best to just do it privately, for the, to the to the family and just and just le uh, leave it alone because, like you said, it was damned if you do, damned if you don't, uh, situation. So it was an, it was a no win. But guys, for all those for those two or three guys out there who are just hardcore, leave Lee alone, and you thought it wasn't about her, it wasn't about picking on or starting any any trouble between Leah and uh, Naya. It was about all of you guys out there who would pile on to her for no reason uh, at all. Because I feel like I, I even saw, I think Amber Riley saying something about like, please don't, don't say I anything. think a lot of the cast was getting sort of backlash on why aren't you saying anything, which is so yeah. inappropriate. It's a like a lot of people were know like, in, you know, it, I, it, it doesn't matter if she says anything or not. So I felt like why I knew that people were going to pile on to her for not saying anything or for saying something. So I just felt like it was going to, it was coming. I was, was, there's only been a couple of things on this channel that I've ever predicted right away. I mean, spite on, yeah. spot on uh, two, it was like a couple of years ago, two years before it happened on this channel. I predicted when Chris Pratt was cast as Star-Lord for Guardians of the Galaxy, I predicted that him and his wife at the time, was it Anna Farrah, was her name? Anna Farrah, yeah. Anna yeah. Farrah was, were going to soon be divorced. I, the, the, the video is still there on this channel. Two years before it happened, I called it. Uh, yeah. And I also predicted way before this channel existed, I was watching uh, Reese Witherspoon and Ryan uh, Philippi, is that his name? Uh, so. accepting a MTV musical or uh, MTV video award or a movie award for best kiss. And when they got up on stage, he went, uh, he had, he had the trophy in his hand and he handed it to her. He said, here, you give the speech, you make more money than me anyway. And she was like, oh. the look on her face was like, I can't believe you did that shit in public. <laughs> like I knew I said that, that, that couple is gone. <laughs> that, that is, that is over. Couple of years later, they were divorced. So I was like, it's, "That's that was." I just had a my my little T three Spidey senses were. were oh, I will say, predicting divorce in Hollywood, you kind of just have a like seventy five percent chance of getting it right anyway. You just go, they're gonna be divorced someday. Yeah, probably. It's Hollywood, man. Ninety five percent of the time, I'm right every time. <laughs> but but I felt like uh, it was one of those things. I was like, oh, watch. They're yeah. gonna, they're and gonna, it sucks yeah. because you know it's all such an awful situation. And at the end of the day, it's like you were right. There was this backlash to the point that she deleted her Twitter account. And it's like, look, I can't speak to Leah Michelle and who she is as a person, but a lot of people are mourning, and it's a huge tragedy and an awful loss. So mm -hmm. just let people deal with that. You know, it's very much the dark side of fame of. Yeah. You know, you can't just mourn privately. You do have to say something. You people are waiting to hear what you're thinking. And yeah, that's unfortunate. But out of all those things that's going on, guys, uh, the uh, Viola Davis with uh, Vanity Fair, the the issue with Vogue magazine, uh, the photographers, uh, all the way to Bill Nye, the science guy, Mariah Carey. Are you going to check out those memoirs? Oh, I know you can't wait. Like I can't wait. Let us know what you guys think about that. Uh, put it in the box below and uh, let us know your thoughts on, on any of those topics and share them with us. And we might talk about it on We Got Your Mail. So now, get down to business.